Instant Pot Pressure Cooker Spaghetti Bolognese. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with your pressure cooker on saute mode. Heat up a tablespoon of olive oil and then add in about a pound of ground beef. I used about three quarters of a pound of ground beef and a couple of Italian sausages that I removed the casings from. So about a pound, a pound and a bit in total. Two cups of onion chopped up, as well as a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to cook this on saute until the ground beef is done. Then add a cup of carrots chopped, a cup of celery chopped, and two cups of beef broth give that a stir and then right on top you're going to add in 12 ounces of spaghetti now you've I've broken the spaghetti in half and you can just plop it right on top of the, the ground beef and then you're going to add in one can 28 ounces of Mira Glen organic roasted crushed tomatoes now I put two cans in because they're just 14 ounce cans spread that around and then add your pressure cooker lid and then you're ready to rock and roll. You're going to set this on high pressure and then you're going to set the time for seven minutes. And I'm using a Kasori brand pressure cooker and for this one you have to hit start. It'll cycle until it comes up to pressure and then count down seven minutes. At seven minutes, quick release your pressure and open the lid. Now I'm going to tell you not to panic because when you start to stir this, you're going to say, wow, this spaghetti is all stuck together. How is this going to work? But it will. It will. Trust me on this. Get some tongs, start stirring and stir for a few minutes. And those spaghetti strands will come apart quite nicely and it'll look awesome. Now, when I tasted the spaghetti, I found it just a tad underdone. So what I did is I put the lid back on and I cooked it for an additional two minutes. And then I thought it was perfect. And here it is. It was good. It's a little on the plain side. I mean, it's not quite my cup of tea as far as what I like in spaghetti. My spaghetti sauce is a little bit spicier because I add in a lot of garlic and I add in other spices. So spice wise, it's plain. But some people like that kind of thing. They like it just plain straightforward spaghetti with meat and vegetables if this is what you love then you're gonna like this one and what's great about it is that you can alter it the way you want it and i would use fewer carrots i found there was way too many carrots in this uh to my taste so i'd make this again a lot more spice and you can get a really nice hot homemade dinner in like something like 10 15 minutes which is awesome i have a few other instant pot slow cooker recipes on my channel and here they are in a playlist Please check them out. Thanks for watching.